What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Maya's World and many questions that have been getting asked right now as we continue to level up towards level 80. G Maya, who are we using our power of pass on for the 93 to 94 overall? Excellent question. Um, if you guys are just starting to gradually get through uh, the level up process, if you're new to Mutt, uh, welcome to G Maya's World. Definitely go ahead and feel free to subscribe. You will get a lot of information here as well as some entertaining gameplays. Be sure to also follow me on Twitter. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitch at G Myers World for up-to-date information regarding uh, Madden 20 Ultimate Team and uh, anything else that has to do with Madden uh, as far as um, what's going and what you need to know and what you should be doing to make sure that you're always prepared for what EA has in store for you. All right, so now we just reached level 75. There was obviously a delay with the servers, all kinds of crazy stuff was going on. Now we got to grind overtime, bruh. It got to be an overtime grind right now. So pretty much what happens is this. We are going to now get this power up pass and we are going to figure out the way that it will make us the most for our team, okay? Now, if you guys are new, like I just said, this might be a little bit more advanced because it's like, all right, you got this stuff. What am I supposed to be doing? What's a power up pass? Well, pretty much a power up pass is something that you can use in place of a card that has the same overall. So for instance, I have Eric Dickerson, who was an NFL 100, 94 overall running back, and I actually paid for him. So I can go and I can look inside the store and I can find all the 94 overalls that I currently have on my team or who I want to upgrade. Now, one of the other questions that are asked regularly, Jemiah, what if I just wanna upgrade a card that, you know, I just wanna put that final piece in. I don't even wanna make the coins from it. I just wanna go ahead and upgrade the final piece. If that's something that you're willing to do right now, prior to a new promo that's about to be dropping with Zero Chill, that's all on you. I would not recommend it. I also would not recommend using a power up pass for cheap players like Jim Brown, a Ray Guy, Emmett Smith. I would look for the more expensive players. Okay, you see how Barry Sanders' price is dropping? You know, things like that. You don't want to use it on those players. You want to find the players in the 700s. You know what I'm saying? Like Deion Sanders, he's at 686. Eric Dickinson's at 690. Um, some of you guys are saying, yo, Jemaya, why don't you just use it on Deion Sanders? You got to upgrade him, right? The reason behind that is I just have a feeling that his price is going to continue to drop. Another thing is like the old lineman, you know, Munoz, um, they got, you know, Bruce Matthews. There's a lot of other players in the game that are getting new cards. Would you rather use it on those guys and just continue the upgrade? For me personally, I would say no. So ideally what I'm looking for is something like this. I have a Ronnie Lott. I have Eric Dickerson on my team, right? So he's down to 678. His price is still dropping, but he's currently the highest priced um, as far as NFL 100 players or whatever the value is. He has the highest value. So if you have a, if you have this guy on your team, realistically speaking, it would make the most sense to get rid of this guy. Now you can always double check and make sure. Like I don't have the Deion Sanders, but if I wanted to use it, he's at 694. He's a little bit higher, you know, you know, base price than that actual card I just showed you at Ronnie Lott. Uh, but is it worth it for me to just use it on him? Is it worth it for me to go get another corner in Rod Woodson and sell Night Train? I don't really think so because Night Train adds a different dynamic simply because he has a 91 hit power. He causes fumbles at the cornerback position. Uh, Rod Woodson has a 77 hit power. I know he's fast and all that good stuff and he played for the 49ers, but he's not somebody that's ideal for my case. But if you have those players, that's what I would recommend that you do. Okay, find the highest price player right now that you currently have, put the power up pass in place of it, and then go ahead and sell that card. That is the most ideal thing that you can do right now. Regardless of what happens, I'm gonna tell you this right now, with the Madden Mobile situation, because Sean Taylor was released, that's why I really don't wanna take the risk of holding on to this card for too long. I wanna get as many coins as I possibly can right now and just, you know, just go with it because if you don't do it right now, his price will continue to come down, maybe 660, whatever. Like I said, you could also go to the running back if you wanted to see, because Eric Dickerson is by far the best running back in the game. 679, maybe somebody bites, maybe somebody doesn't. This one just closed at 690, so you don't know where that's going as far as running back goes. All right, so that's why I'm a little bit more cautious with that because the run game is OP. So more than likely people are gonna look for cards that can help stop the run. And Ronnie Lott starting off with reinforcement is huge with the NFL 100 ability. So based on this and the way that this guy has been selling, for me at this moment, it looks like Ronnie Lott would be the more expensive card to get. Like even after EA takes their 67,000 off of the top, I'm still gonna net 600K. 
You see what I'm saying with that 10% or whatever it is. So you have to be very, very cautious of this and you have to operate like, all right, what am I doing right now? What is the best player? We already saw what LT was doing. LT's price has come down tremendously, but in my opinion, he's still the best you know, linebacker in the game. He's not even selling for 660 right now. So all of the players are around the same rate in the sixes. Make your coins now before everything else gets released because if Sean Taylor were to drop and we have Ronnie Lott on the squad, that would really hurt a lot of us. It would hurt us extremely. And it's not something that, you know, that we should be taking part in. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing with mine based on my team. And like I said, I could easily upgrade Deion Sanders and just say, you know what, let's forego the coins. But Deion Sanders still plays very, very well where he is right now, simply because I have the 49er chem on him and he's already super fast. So this is what Deion looks like right now, even before I add anything to him. Those are ridiculous numbers. Like you're not burning a 97 speed corner, 96 Excel. He does everything he's supposed to do. So I can kind of wait it out to get his card. And then we never know, we might get a snipe or something like that. So we don't really have to rush into that. But this guy right now, people are gonna look to get him right now. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and we are going to, um, what is this, this is the X Factor? Yeah, okay, so we'll refund that. We'll get back to 450 from that. We'll refund that. Okay, we'll refund the, um, what is this? Uh, what? 1876, what did I, oh, that's the, the training for the, um, the Sprinter. Okay, so now we did that. Now we're gonna go ahead. So you're gonna lose like nine, you're gonna lose 10% of all that. We're gonna add the power up pass into his card. We're gonna go back. We're gonna put the abilities because you know with the way that EA has done it, they don't even give you the option anymore to say you know what do you want to sell this or whatever. They just give you the refund. So you simply have to go and buy it back. And all we had on him, I believe, was Enforcer because he didn't really have anything as far as the tier two abilities that I liked. Like they, his card is kind of ruined because of that. And Enforcer is the better thing to put on him. So for now, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have that on him. As far as this goes, we have lockdown times three on him. So we'll go ahead and put that back on him. Um, over here, we had sprinter times two, I believe. No, was it sprinter times two? I think it was sprinter times two, right? I think that's what we had on him. All right, so we'll go ahead and we have to put it back on him. So give him sprinter times two. So he goes right back to being what he's supposed to be. And then remember, after you do all of this, you then have to go and equip his X Factor back. So you will see this going on over here. Many people go and um, you can't even really leave the screen because EA will tell you, bro, somebody's not activated. Like it'll tell you, but just always remember to have them activated because obviously if you don't, you can risk like not realizing what's going on, go into a game without him activated and he doesn't play the same. Now, when you look at the other cards that you have, right? Go ahead and analyze it and figure out you know, as far as the 94 overall players, like the, the Lawrence Taylor, Ronnie Lott, um, you got Barry Sanders, you got um, Eric Dickerson. Are these players what you want and what you need right now? Okay, are these players worth uh, the power passes? Like, look at some of the cards that you have power passes on. Are these cards worth it? Or should you go into a different direction? That's what you have to start to look at right now because there are so many other upgrades at different positions that you can currently make that can make you a lot of coins right now simply by replacing a player with the power up pass. So now that you just saw what we just did, we're gonna find the card, okay? We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna search the auctions and um, 684, so the other one probably sold. So we can go, you know, let's go and say 670, right? Just to get rid of them because EA is gonna take their coins no matter what. Let's just say 670, okay? And then that way we get rid of them and we're not really waiting and somebody feels like they got a deal or a snipe. We go 672, all right? And then we see what happens. Regardless of it, because of the like how close it is with the price proximity of what EA is actually trying to do when they take their percentage, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna net a decent amount. Now, after that guy sells, it doesn't matter. We still have that card there because we put the power pass in place of it. So going forward now, we're still going to get another NFL 100 player for free, which is very, very ideal because that's going to help us make moves that we probably otherwise couldn't make because we don't have the currency for it. Because everybody, like I said, I'm not buying packs every time something comes out. I only do it for specific players. But, so for the most part, I'm typically always grinding and doing things like that. These are very, very key ways to make sure that you save money in your pocket and then you grind the game to get the other things. So now once he sells, okay, which he just sold immediately, right? What, what is our next step? 
Okay, now that we have our coins back up, everything is looking better, what do we do now? We look to see how else we can make coins with everything else that's coming. Now, as far as make rights for what happened with the uh, EA servers, we don't know what's going to actually happen. We don't know if EA is going to give us anything. We can go ahead and cry and do whatever, but they might end up making us have to pay, uh, play for it, like with house rules and something. And then in my opinion, that's not really something like, that's not, it's not like a make right. Like they did something like that before. They gave us the opportunity to do this and that and all kind of foolishness, but we had to grind the game. Most of you guys just want to get something for free. I don't know how that's going to work. But again, keep in mind that something should be happening along those lines. And remember, you still also can continue uh, to grind the game as well. Don't forget that. And in the meantime, you can still continue to look at some of the things that are going on as far as the quality of 94 and above and see if there's things that you want to get after. Uh, the new old lineman, for instance, if you wanted to go after that, um, that's something that you should probably take a look at to see what the prices are um, as far as the old linemen go because I'm telling you right now, most of them have very, very sick run block. They're outrageous with their numbers. You might get really, really lucky. So take a look at these cards, you know, a Munoz, whatever, and see if you can get rid of other cards and upgrade at these positions. Um, for me, I'm probably going to be looking to get that Larry Allen. I really like that card. His, his card looks really, really sick. I've already spoken about it uh, in a previous video. It looks really, really good. We might have to look at that. But ultimately, that looks like the way that we're probably going to have to go back and um, engage how we're going to work because these old linemen are really, really sick with their numbers. So take a look at those things. If you need more information, you know what to do. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, all at Gmiles World. Leave it in the comments. You guys do a great job of communicating with each other. Uh, as always, you guys continue to have a blessed day. Let me know, uh, you know what mutt level you are, how far you're along, and what you're going to do when you get that 95 overall power pass. Are you going to use it on Cook for now and wait until the other cards are released? Let me know. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. You have an unbelievable day. One love, y'all.